This is an air raid siren. And if you ever wondered how does it work and how to make one, then you're in the right place. And even if you didn't, then you can simply widen your horizons by watching this video. So in this video, I will not only be explaining how an air raid siren works, but also will show how to make one without using electronics. So last night, I have dreamt of an air raid siren. After waking up, I thought, why am I not educated enough to know how it works? I mean, it kinda reminds me of an engine, and it also makes a similar sound, except it's a lot louder. Firstly, I thought I would buy one, then disassemble it and take a peek on what's inside, but after seeing some of the prices, I thought, maybe let's find some sort of alternative for that. So I have found this website, in which you can see clearly how an air raid siren works. Of course, I will leave a link in the description to this website. So basically, an air raid siren is constructed of four main parts. The fan, known as rotor or impeller, which pushes the air. The drum, known as the stator, which slices the air the intake cone, which intakes as much air as it can, and motor, which spins the impeller. An air raid siren works in a pretty unique way, by which I mean that it works different from a speaker. While the rotor is spinning, it pushes the air with centrifugal force, and it is chopped up by the stator. The siren gets its unique tone from the shape of the sound wave it produces. The chopping action of the rotor produces a triangular waveform that is rich in both odd and even harmonics. You can see that this air raid siren has two drums and it is not far from reality because most of air raid sirens have two drums. So it has two rotors and two stators. The stators and rotors have different amount of gaps and that's how an air raid siren can make two different frequency sounds. Like in this example, the top half of the rotor has five veins and the bottom half has only four veins. An actual air raid siren spins at over 7000 revolutions per minute. So now, as we already know how an air raid siren works, let's try to make one ourselves. Since I want to make this air raid siren free of electricity, I will not use a brushless motor. And in my opinion, that makes this project much more easier. Instead of a motor spin, it will be a hand cranked air raid siren. I am not going to show you how I made every part because it would take a long time and it would be pretty boring. However, here is a preview on every part I have made. So here is the rotor that has 6 veins. It connects to the appropriate gear. All of these parts have 5mm diameter access holes. This is that connector gear and it connects to this 4 times amplifying gear. In this project, there are used two units of this gear. Then, there is this main gear that is connected to the part that is connected to the handle. This part is a connector between main gear and the handle and it makes its own axis. I am also using some basic spacers that are shown here. So this is the siren stator and it has its own legs and it can be bolted down. This is the intake cone, which covers the rotor partly, then the handle, and an additional part of the handlebar. You might be thinking, how is it possible to output 7000 RPM by just cranking it with your hand? Well, a simple answer, it's hard work, but we can get close to 7000 RPM. And this is where the gears come in. Imagine, you put in one revolution per second, that makes it 60 revolutions per minute and so the first gear amplifies it by 4 and that makes it 240 revolutions and then the second gear amplifies it by 4 times more and the output is 960 rpm and then the last gear amplifies it by 4 and the output is 3800 rpm 
Of course, in reality, the output is closer to just 3000 RPM because of some miscalculations. Since it does not reach 7000 RPM, the sound will not peak and the output on it will be lower and not as loud. I have connected everything on a piece of wood that was 22 cm by 15 cm and 2 cm thick. And of course I will also leave model of it. I have used 5 mm diameter nails as axles. So here you can see the most of the printed parts. These parts were printed in black PLA on Ender Pro printer. On most of these parts the accuracy was set to 0.2 mm. The next part is an assembly of this air raid siren and it is sped up but you can slow it down and watch closely how it's made. So now it's time for the first test. So the handle broke. But before breaking, it output a solid 85 decibel sound. Most of air raid sirens output no less than 110 decibels. So in that comparison, my air raid siren was pretty weak. But knowing that it's quite small, hand cranked, and does not peak, it did its job quite well. After I reprinted the broken part and went outside with it, it was ready for round two. And then the other part broke. So now the main shaft cylinder have snapped apart. And it might look that I had to reprint only two parts. But in reality I had to reprint a lot of parts in the course of testing. And of course I had to do this. And then it was time for the final test. So in conclusion, my siren is pretty weak compared to the bigger electrical ones. It is weaker because of the shortcomings that I mentioned earlier. However, the siren indisputably works quite well and it represents how an air raid siren should work. And it also is electricity free. So if you liked this video, smash that like button and consider subscribing. And thanks for watching.